Hello, Jana. We went to see Gran today, in the hospital. It looked like... a big grey fortress. It took us a while to find the right room. Dad let me open the door. Cozy bed at home. Nothing like the hospital one she was in. Lying in there, she looked so small. I don't remember her being that small. Gran's eyes were open, but she struggled to... the right words. She just couldn't... Speak properly. The doctor said it was called... Dysphasia. It was caused by the stroke. She's usually so talkative, but now she kept stopping. Mid sentence, as if all the words she could find were just. Out of reach, I could see it really frustrating her. And then Gran started coughing. They put an oxygen mask on her. I told her she looked like... Darth Gran! Of that. 
But that reminds me of... Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema. A long, long time ago, when Mum was my age. A grand story! Gran and Mum went to see my favourite movie. Mum fell asleep. But Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy looking smuggler showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're gonna watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. I can't wait! This time, I'll beat all her high scores. For sure. Gran's a tough cookie. In video games and everywhere else. I heard Mum crying in her room. I've never seen her cry. She looked so sad. I didn't know what to do. So I made her a cup of tea. like Rans, she said. Mum said Gran was getting tired. I said she's getting better. Mum said she felt helpless. I said she was just sleepy. Mum said Gran's going to... I said she's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. All you need is a leap of faith. Will Gran still be Gran after this? Of course, 
She'll be fine. Fine. Gran is going to get better, right? Mum was so worried. What if... Got to keep positive. Mum needs me to. I'll show Gran my story. Mum as well. They'll enjoy reading it. I hope it helps. What else can I do? I just need to finish my story. So, where were we? After the dragon attacked the village, Grace set out to find the fireflies, leaving Elder Ava and her village behind. Her journey took her to... a vast desert. With a guardian. Who guards it because it is... Dangerous. Grace had pursued the dragon far, far from home. The desert spread out before her. Dunes rising and falling like a sea of gold. Timeless and bewildering. A glow in the sand. I'll get you safely home. Another firefly escaped from the dragon's grass. Hey there, little one. You're safe now. Where did this wind suddenly come from? There was something very unnatural about it. Seen it? It's really important. Go away. Are you all hands? But Grace's will would not break that easily. Hey! Come back here! I really need your help. I said go!
Wind think he is? Look, whoever you are... Go away! I can't! I have to find Feel the... Bad. Go away! Okay. See ya. <laughs> that sorted Mr. Grumpy Pants out. The yawning cave burrowed deep into the earth. Home to wondrous life. Easily scared. an explorer. Covering the unknown. Far below the rolling dunes. I wonder what used to be down here? Maybe sand swimming desert pirates? Or one eyed troglodytes? I hope not.
Interesting. Under the desert sands, grace found. A long forgotten chamber. The plant recoiled at the sound of her footsteps. Greatness past. The silence of the ages filled the air.
familiar, foul-tempered voice drifted down to Grace. Let it not be thing go. Told them it was dangerous, but they're just like the rest. Too squishy. Disarmed the djinn. His fury was great. Fortunately, his voice was very, very small. <laughs> but the desert guardian would not let it rest. <laughs> hey! Stop it! choose to live here. There had been people here once upon a time. What happened to them? Who were they? Maybe I'll find answers here. The dome was empty, but for a pool of water. An inviting place to rest. Grace's thoughts drifted to the people that once had lived here. She was sure they must have been... A distant roar roused Grace from her thoughts. I'll catch you yet, dragon. Statues toppled before Grace.
industrious merchant. Architects of prosperity. Fall before me. But behind Grace, a grumpy mumbling could be heard. Ugh, <laughs> oh, him again. Let's move. <laughs> oh, that's better. I do the magic around here. You go away. The Desert Guardian was frantically looking for Grace. Stop hiding from me! He would surely find her eventually. Ah, that won't work twice! Wouldn't he? Easy! Despite the darkness, Grace's hope guided her. It stays hidden. 
It must. Oh, the old days. So little left. Best forgotten. Look, whatever it is you don't want me to see, I'm sure we can... No, 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 no. You cannot go further. Back! How can I get him to listen? Would she break the Jin statue? Or repair it? my friend. Knowledge will be yours in time. Use it more wisely than I did. <laughs> 